What's going on everybody? David here. Today I want to show you how I print photos in Lightroom. It's very simple uh, and once you learn how to do it you'll probably use Lightroom every time. If, you, if you're a Lightroom user you'll probably use it every time to do your prints. So uh, let's start off if I'm I've edited a picture and I want to print it the first thing that I'm going to do is go over to the print module so click on that and then I'll be I'll have this uh, margin here on the right hand side and I don't a lot of this stuff I don't even touch but uh, just to show you how some of it works the first thing here is the if you look at this picture it's not it's not an 8 by 10 and that's what I want this is on 8.5 by 11 uh, inch paper it's not 8 by 10 so what I want to do is if I hit zoom to fill it will automatically crop it to the 8 by 10 configuration the only thing is you're gonna lose some of the image so you just need to be be prepared for that so a little bit of the sides you're gonna lose that if you do an 8 by 10 so go ahead and click that zoom to fill we'll do that uh, your margins are here so you can change your margin let's say you want to have the bottom you want to have a little bit more at the bottom just so you can put your your logo or something down here your name you can do that um, if not then you can just move it all the way over to the left and it'll default and kind of center center it in the page so let's move down um, the cell size 8 by 10 that's what we want so we don't want anything larger I can make it larger if I want I can make it smaller uh, but uh, in this case I want 8 by 10 on an 8.5 by 11 inch piece of paper and then I will put a mat over that that's uh, the mat will be 11 by 14 so I have it all set up so it'll be able you you'll be able to put it in a frame that's 11 by 14 so uh, I don't you generally don't touch anything here uh, you can if you want but uh, that's I like I like the setup like this so I don't do anything the identity plate uh, that's where I was stating if you if you want to move the bottom up and then have a logo down there you can do that um, now moving all the way down to the bottom this is a very important part of the printing uh, when you print so basically you want to have you, you want to look at the, first off the paper the paper is very important so let's say I'm using Canon paper if I'm using Canon paper I'm fine because all I need to do is click on let's go down here to the bottom so I can show you if I'm using a Canon printer and I'm using Canon paper all the profiles are already already in here for me so all I need to do is scroll down find the whatever uh, paper profile I'm using click on it and then click OK and now I have this matte paper so I want to make this since this says glossy I want to make this matte so we have uh, print sharpening you can have that on there you can sharpen it yourself and not use the print sharpening uh, whatever your preference is color management um, and I'll show you the color management how that works but in this case I'm using color management I'm using Lightroom this ICC profile to do the color management um, perceptual relative if you're shooting if you're um, printing pictures of people then you want to use relative it just uh, it's better for skin tones and that is pretty much it so let me show you some of the important things that you need to also look at the ICC profile for Canon all Canon paper will be will automatically be um, on here because I have a Canon printer but let's say I'm using Epson paper or let's say I'm using Red River paper or Moab paper or Canson or Hanamule if I'm using the different paper I need to find those profiles and I in another video I've shown showing you guys how to do the ICC profile setup but um, in this video I'm just want to show you just pull whatever ICC profile it is and we'll just pull we'll pull another one uh, we'll do Red River that's fine so that's a glossy paper so we're gonna move this to glossy because of that. So now I have the ICC profile. I'm printing a landscape, so perceptual is fine. And then once I have all that set up, now I want to go to the page setup. So when you click on the page setup, it's going to prompt you with this screen here. Now on this screen, we already know we're shooting or we're uh, printing eight and a half by eleven, so we'll keep that. 
we're shooting on I keep saying shooting I don't know why but we're printing on the Canon Pro 100 so we'll keep that rear tray that's great properties this is very important because it will always default to printing on documents I don't know why that is but it does you're printing on paper or you want to print a photo so you want to click here you also don't want to do borderless you want to have that little white border around around the edges so you click on that if you look down here it's giving me different uh, different size a uh, paper size here for whatever reason it, it it kind of defaults to this so you want to click on that change that back to eight and a half by eleven paper here is not it's not important because you have an ICC profile that will tell it what paper that you're using uh, what is important though is you want to do high here for print quality rear tray we already went over that the manual adjustment this is very important click on this and click on matching and you see here it says driver matching so basically the printer driver is will control the color management that's not what you want you want Lightroom to do that you have an ICC profile already set up you want Lightroom to control everything so for this you're gonna click none click OK so now you look at everything everything looks good click OK this looks good click OK now you're back to Lightroom and you have your ICC profile set up you have your color management set up so now when you send it to the printer everything is all the information is gonna come from Lightroom only Lightroom now you don't want to be in a situation where you have color management coming from Lightroom and then you also have color management coming from the driver the printer driver because that that's when it will get confused and it will start your colors will start looking different you might have little more magenta in your in your picture um, than you see on the screen and that's because it's getting confused it doesn't understand which driver you want to use so make sure you're using one or the other you can very easily not use the color profile on on the on Lightroom and just go to an image on your computer right click print and it will print using the driver profile okay that's all I have for you guys if you have any questions please post them below please give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe for more I'll talk to you later bye